yeah it gets get lost missed and yes and we lose the chat it's actually better streamlabs shows me the chat next to like in a sidebar mm-hmm. i haven't figured out how to make like put that on an overlay yet but it does mean that i see it in streamlabs without having to like go to twitch um, I still go to Twitch because eventually I have the game full screen and then I can't see it anymore, but I can see it at the beginning, which is nice. Yeah, especially like in, especially in a game like, oh great, I forgot the going live message that I had made previously. Um, what? It just says it's like, Nancy time or something, right? Smiley face. Yep. Oh. <laughs> um yeah especially like i know with the meal making and having to take pictures of the food when i close the app like that it means oh my god invariably that i am gonna just lose the chat which is really frustrating that is the thing i miss about mixer yeah yeah um definitely. emily is here the app thinks we there we go god love love twitch super functional yeah. It feels great. I feel like I'm dying. I'm so warm. It's it's really just because I've been like rushing around and I know I will like cool down. Cool off shortly. In, in your mad dash for snacks. Yes. Francis is here. Hello. Um I do you want to hear about my snacks? Yeah, absolutely. Do you hear this Always. clinking? Old Clink and Joe. Old Clink and Joe is back, friends. Old Clink and Joe never left. Merely hibernated, growing more powerful. Yeah, that's true. Um, this is a Manhattan. Oh. you. I feel like you've been very into Manhattans at home. Yeah. Well, when I have the ingredients, they're pretty easy to make and a nice... I just like Manhattans, okay? Oh, did we tweet that we're live? No. <laughs> um, do you want to do that or do you want me to do that? Well, wait, I can do it on my computer without disturbing anything. T- don't touch anything about the setup. Don't even breathe on it. <laughs> well, it's just, it's exciting because back when we had to do whole screen capture with Streamlabs and didn't have a title screen i like couldn't do anything on my computer while streaming yeah without showing it streaming with whole screen capture (laughs) is terrifying braver than any u.s marine okay like (laughs) braver than the troops yeah it's it's a it's really a powder keg like there's a there's a, a fundamental time limit on that yeah um i so I just realized um, Tuesday when I went to make the very long explainer thread for Shadow Facts mm-hmm. that I could be logged into multiple accounts on Twitter desktop as I can mobile. Yeah, did you did you not realize that previously? I just I just always do it. I just like when I tweet from Rude Detectives or from Shadow Packs, I just always use my phone for it. Yeah. That's what I, I feel like that became a thing at some point, but it was like six months ago. I don't know. Mm. Cause I feel like there was a point where like, I could not have multiple accounts signed in on desktop. Um, and then it became an option a while back. Hi, Emma. Emma is here. Hello. Oh, hi, Nat. Nat is here. Hello. Um, Ruby informed me earlier that they will not make it tonight because they have another commitment, which is tragic, but we miss them always. Rip. So you know how I can do other things on my computer, but it's so slow that I can't. Oh, sorry. Um, It's really slow. It's so slow. We're getting there. Um, did I see Ruby's photos of what? Of the lavender fields, the like, oh, yes. lavender fields. Yes. I have never, I, 
I can't remember the last time that something I saw on social media has given me such intense, um, like, desire to be somewhere else. Like, yeah, I just want to be in a lavender field. Yeah, that you pick lavender is like a Nat big says, thing here. That sounds great. Nat says no commitments, only Nancy. Yeah, that's my preference. So right before we. Right before we started streaming, I was looking, we were, Joey and I were kind of talking about the chronology of the Nancy games that we have played and trying to the get the The chronology in straight. which we've played them, not in which they were released. Yes, correct, correct. And then I was looking at the Wikipedia for um, her interactive, which has a, an actual chronological list of games. Mm -hmm. And... Um, as much as we like lovingly poke fun at Nancy games, seeing this big list, it is so impressive that her interactive cranked out two games a year for a decade. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and I also have one other incredible discovery from um, this, which is that occasionally they delve into making the games available on other platforms. Uh huh. And your favorite and mine, Curse of Blackmore Manor, was. Um, also available as a playable DVD. Wow. Wow. Can you imagine? It's 2000, 2004. <laughs> wow. Um, so in addition to this Manhattan, mm -hmm. I have a new Name that crunch. Ba -ba -ba! A, you have never heard this crunch before, and B, I have never tasted wait, wait, this. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Are you saying that this is like a new crunch to the game, or like this is a food stuff so new that I personally have <laughs> never had it or heard it? I don't know if you've had it or heard of it. I don't think you're going to be able to like name it exactly. What I would like is for you to like get as close as you can. Like use what you know okay. about you know. I usually do. I have become, and texture. I've become a, I have become a, a real, you know. Yeah, yeah. I've Narrow it down to like I I could. sort of type and like sort of material and things like that. You know? Material. But okay. I'm also, so after you name it, I'm going to uh, review it flavor wise because this is my first time tasting it. Okay, based on that alone, because the only, f you have said to me that the only thing that you think should be like food or beverage reviews is Mountain Dew products and only by you. <laughs> I. I have a feeling that it's a Mountain Dew product. No, it's, sorry, that was misleading. It is not a Mountain Dew product. Okay. I just am do enjoying. Do you understand how I got there? Yes, I do. I had forgotten that I said that, and I just mean it's exciting to, like, taste something for the first time on stream and then oh, totally. talk okay. about it. Yes. That's all. I'm excited. I was, like, envisioning. Look, I, if I could I get my be, hands. I have to be totally honest. I thought for a half second, I had the wild thought that somehow, like, in a collaboration made specifically for us, there was a Mountain Dew flavored kettle brand kettle chip. Oh, that would be amazing. No, if I could get my hands on the Mountain Dew Doritos, I would be eating them right now. Excuse I mean, Excuse me, is that a thing? Yeah. Caitlin, you have to pay attention to the baby crew discord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. It's not the Dorito, everyone. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to get all of this anticipation going. It's just something I bought at the grocery store today because I had to go to the pharmacy to pick up my meds, okay? <laughs> okay. Are okay. you are you ready? I think so. Okay. That fucking sounds like a Dorito. Fuck off. It's not a Dorito. It's definitely a chip. It's definitely a chip. Yeah. It. 
Okay, run it. Give, give me another one. Yeah. I'm turning my funny boy up. Hmm. Okay. So I'm trying to guess based on the sound, like there's a few different kinds of chips. Like you have like your Doritos, which have kind of those micro bubbles mm -hmm. and then things that are a little more like shattery. Mm -hmm. And this to me, the first time I thought it sounded micro bubbly, but the second time I thought it sounded more like shattering tectonic plates. What if it's both? <gasps> what? If what? <laughs> what? No, I just, I mean, I think, like, I think you're halfway on the right track with both of those things, but. Okay. So. They are, here's what I'll say. They are triangular. You got that part of, of the guessing they were Doritos correct, but they are not Doritos. Okay. So we're. We're staring down the barrel of the, like, corn potato divide here. Right. I will tell you, they're a little, like, like, you might find them, like, in a health food aisle. Oh, these are, but they're triangular? Mm-hmm. Okay. I was originally thinking something like a Terra chip, like, which, you know, like a potato chip made out of a... Right. I, I did almost buy potato, some of those, but, it, but it's not that. Well, and those those do not sound like that. No, it is more, um, you know, some chips are just like a slice of something. Yeah. And some chips are like... This is like, like a composite that has been... A formed. composite. This is more composite. Yeah, this is a composite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is, which is micro bubbles. Okay. Yeah. So I'm feeling... Is this, this is corn based? No. Oh, oh, is it like, um, um, chickpea or fava bean based? Ooh, chickpea. Mm-hmm. I thought it's a chickpea chip. There's something um, else in there too, but chickpea is, is one of two main ingredients. Uh, chickpea and is it another like legume? No. It's not chickpea and corn? No. Okay. Is this other... This other ingredient is not... It's more like a chickpea. Like, it's not a go-to chip ingredient? Um... It's not a go-to chip ingredient unless you're gluten-free and eat weird chips. <laughs> oh. Okay. More likely found huh. in crackers than chips, usually. Which I think is it's... why you're you're getting some of that shattery sound because there's a little bit of a hardness to it. I think. Yeah, from this that other feels. Thing. That feels. I'm feeling a little stumped by that. Mm. I'm impressed how quickly I got to chickpea. Yeah, actually, I'm. I'm honestly kind of surprised. I'm um, telling, like, it, it's because we I, we've created this logic tree in my head of different sounds. Right. Do you want me to tell Horrible. you, like, the added flavor of these? Yes, please. They are um, rosemary and garlic. Rosemary and garlic. Okay, I was about to... I guess you said it was not a legume. I was going to say, like, black bean. Like, I've had, like, black bean and chickpea. No, crackers. but I have had chips that are bean and this other ingredient that you're trying to think of. And it's, and it's not corn? It's not corn. Huh, okay. Think about the food I eat more than most other foods. Pickles. Cheese. No, no, way more foundational and basic than that. Rice, it's rice. Yes. Chickpea and Chickpea rice. Chickpea and rice. Interesting. They're marketed, so they're marketed as hummus chips um, because of the, mm. the chickpea content um, and they're rosemary and garlic yeah. flavored. And they're like a, a, a triangle, but like with rounded corners. Yeah, um, I feel like actually I've seen those. And... They're pretty nice. I have some scraps of like young manchego in here that I'm eating with some of them, and that's a great combo. 
the young man Chaco. Mm. Um. Wow. I feel like the rice. I, that like that makes sense for the kind of like <laughs> micro bubble element because I'm thinking of like puffed rice. Yeah, well, it's interesting because rice can go kind of both ways. Like, if you think of, like, savory thins or, like, rice thins, you know, like the round crackers from Trader yeah. Joe's, they have that, they're, like, even shiny on the outside. They have kind of, like, that yeah. hard crack, right? Those are yeah. primarily rice. Right. Um uh, rice can go the other way when I think, like, prepared differently, but I think the, the chickpea gives it more of the, like, soft flakiness, and the rice gives it a little more of that, like, crack. Um, yeah. And the- Wow, I what mean, a satisfying- it's, it's nice. What a satisfying name that crunch. Mm -hmm. I feel like we had, like, fallen into a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a rut with, with Kettle Brand Kettle Chips. Please sponsor us. Um, yeah, but... I had, I mean, like, I haven't been doing my own shopping, right? And right, so right. I don't buy as much snack food. This is, I'm actually, I'm really thrilled that we had um, such a new and different Name That Crunch because I actually grabbed something when we were up getting drinks and snacks right before we started intending to do a Name That Crunch. Oh, So wow. I also have a new Name That Crunch. Wow. Oh, Francis says, wow, I do not know these chips. Does the store you work at not have them yet? I feel like the store that Francis works at is the place that I have seen those chips. Hmm. Or something equivalent to those. Francis, I'll have to send you a picture of the bag. <sighs> oh, here. Do you want a, a bonus name that crunch? Sure. Okay. Listen closely. Oh. Hmm. That's a pretty timid crunch. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I used all my crunching powers on... Here it um, is again. Is that a pickle? No. We did hmm. text it about sounds... this particular thing pretty recently, which should be a dead giveaway. We texted about this particular thing. I don't know. Joey, that assumes that I remember anything I've ever said ever. What's the thing we ate a bunch of last summer and we both loved and then you got it again and then I got it again? Oh, oh coconut chips. Yeah, bear, honey, coconut, coconut chips. They're so good. They're, They're so, so good. good. But yeah, extremely okay. delicate crunch. Delicate little crunch. But mm -hmm. I will say the thing actually that I do like about them is they are far crunchier and snappier and less chewy than a lot of other dried coconut that I have, which I. Oh, prefer. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, are it's definitely for... a crunch because they are like fully toasted. It uh -huh. just is like a, a soft cr crunch. It's a demure crunch. Mm hmm. Um, it's a self-confident crunch, and so it doesn't really need to, like, project that much. Yeah. Because it knows what it is. Mm-hmm. Are you ready for my name that crunch? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. What the fuck is that? Just a little crunch. That was, like, 27 crunches in a row. Yeah. What am I supposed to do with that? Um, I don't know. Name it. Here, I'll give it to you again. Ready? Uh-huh. I'll try and get just one this time. Mm-hmm. My initial thought was carrot, and then I retracted that. You're... Is it is it vegetal? It is decidedly not, but it shares a shape with carrots. Um... Cheeto. <laughs> I wish I had a Cheeto. Oh my god. I'm I'm actually very embarrassed. I bought a bag of um spicy Cheetos like mm -hmm. two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And I was cleaning my house today and I found spicy Cheetos everywhere. I don't know what like feeding frenzy I went into, oh but I found like god. four different Cheetos today. 
<laughs> oh my god. Wow. Um. Oh, I'll give you a hint about this one. Yeah. This was a. Fi- this was. I can't recommend this experience as an adult, but it was a preferred crunch of mine as a child. What do children eat? <laughs> um. That says that my autocorrect now capitalizes crunch automatically. Wow. I, what's, like, like, actual carrot shape or, like, baby carrot shaped? Or is it, No, no, like, like geometric shape. Like, every, carrots are cylindrical. These things are also cylindrical. Every shape is geometric, but okay. <laughs> Geometric category. I'm yeah, giving you cylinders. God. Um. Are they? I'll give you a hint. Wait. I'll okay. give you another hint. Okay. You can't eat this. Yeah, I was gonna say, are they those little cylinders that have, um, like a filling almost in them? <laughs> that uh, describes so many foods. Charlie. Okay. I cannot remember what they are called right now. Are you thinking of combos? Yes, I'm thinking of combos. (laughs) That's Um, not what I would expect a combo to sound like, but I cannot, like, it sounds so unlike any crunch I have heard before, and I'm confused by that. Because it's an atypical crunch. This is not... I mean, As I said, this is not a crunch that I can currently recommend as a food to eat, but I... Is it even a lot of it is a kid. food? Yeah, are oh you, yeah, it's totally food. Are you crunching ice? <laughs> no. Although I am a noted ice chewer. Um. If it's it's food, but you don't recommend it, and it's cylindrical, and you liked it as a child. I wouldn't recommend it in its current form. Which is what that you're eating something I don't know frozen that should be cooked. I that's a that's a good guess because I do love to chew on frozen vegetables as Barry Cast has talked about. But no, but, but it's no. a similar you know. But yeah, you're on the you're on, you know, <sighs> you're thinking in the correct. It's it, I'm eating it in one form right now. You would typically eat it in another form. Or, you know, prepared. This is going to destroy me. Nat says, is it bones? Is it pasta? (laughs) It is! And, okay, Emma just said, is it dried pasta? But I did not read that message until I said the word pasta. So I did not steal Emma's guess. The, The name that Crunch referees will allow it. Okay. Yeah, dried, yep, just some uncooked fucking pasta. Dry spaghetti. Yep. Wow. Wow. Name that crunch. Good job. I just want to say, like, for someone who hates guessing and does not usually you play did, this side of did, the game, you did such a good. You did such a good job. I did great. I you think, did it. You I were, think Francis because, is upset because you took my approach to it. You were very methodical. Yeah. No. Oh, no. Francis, Francis is not Emma, upset. Yeah, Francis and Emma. Yeah. I, this was like when my dad was cooking pasta when I was a kid, I would always like ask for a few noodles to like crunch while the actual pasta was cooking. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I've ever eaten uncooked pasta. I d- honestly don't think I can recommend it. It's not a good or pleasant experience, but I had pasta tonight and I was putting the like box of pasta away um, in the pantry when we were like cleaning up before we streamed. And I was like, boy, you know what that would make? A nice crunch. Wow. Okay. Um, wow. I'm Very just eating my last cast. few chips here 
before we start playing so that I can stop Can I, um, can I have one? I would love to give you one. Thank you. Um, here, while we're, while we're, um, getting ready to go, I'll do a little LaCroix, a little LaCroix pop. Ooh. Oh, that was great. I did the thing where I, I got tired of trying to remember to, like, buy a can of LaCroix every week. Or to, like, order it on my grocery list, mm -hmm. which I have not been doing consistently. And so I just caved and bought, like, six boxes. And I'm, like, now um, working through the backlog. Yeah, do you have apricot or is it some other kind? It, it is, it is um, apricot. Because Gosh. I have been normally, um, during the non-pandemic times, I do my grocery shopping at Aldi's. But I have um been having groceries delivered through another thing so i do not have to go to the grocery store and this grocery store actually has apricot lacroix yeah although i have to say the one time i found apricot lacroix last summer was at aldi which is joey but i literally go to it Aldi's was every it two was, weeks and that has never happened you had the wildest luck it was in the stack of cases like by the door and i had to like unstack a bunch of them to get to the apricot mm -hmm. all this is a magical place like it is i missed very, some of the things i got there yeah some other like in-house brands are great and also th there's that element of chance there like Grocery shopping there is participating in a gashapon game. Like, my fiddly fig and my snake plant, I got both there, which they randomly had for, like, $10 a piece, which is a wildly low price for those plants. Yeah, absolutely. Um, wow. Well, we've just done a full 25-minute berry cast. Wow. I'm just... uh, Francis says, when I was a kid, we always <laughs> played the board game Life, but we lost all the little pig people, so we used bits of spaghetti noodles <laughs> and also crunched them. <laughs> That's great. Beautiful. Perfect. Wow. Mm. Okay. Do you want to play a Nancy game? God, what an, that was such an invigorating berry cast. It was non-controversial, just fun, fun in games. Uh oh, Joey? Uh, am I still here? What, what the fuck happened? Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, I cannot believe this. Hey, Joey? Yes? Anything? Can you hear me at all? Can you? Are can you, you can still you there? Hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. hello. Yes. Okay. Hi. Do I sound bad to you? Like all crackly? You sure do. Okay. Hold on. Do I sound better now? Anything? Hello? Hello? Yeah. You still sound... I can hear you. You still sound quite robot -y. Okay, this is such bullshit. Um, hold tight. I'm going to try to do this without stopping the stream. We'll see if it works. Okay, sounds good. Um, the fucking wolf came for us. Ow! Strikes again. Anything now? <laughs> oh, oh uh, still yes, bad. hi. Still bad. Still bad. Still sounds very bad, but I can hear you again. Um, okay. Yeah, Back. points out that it was totally fine during Barry Cast. Yeah, and literally, you know, you couldn't hear me for a minute, but it cut out while I was saying that it was so nice 
to feel more relaxed because we (laughs) hadn't just been battling tech issues and this is the most I've ever believed in being jinxed. What the fuck? This is so upsetting. So the problem is this happened earlier today and the only way I was able to fix it was by restarting my computer. Oh no. Uh, yeah, which is rough. Um... Let me try this a couple times. Do you want me to put it in the chat that we're going to restart? I think, hold on, just a second. I mean, we're still streaming, so just hold on a minute. Let me know if this gets better ever. Okay. When this used to happen, I could just hit restart audio engine in voice meter and it would resolve. And now I do that, and, like, it doesn't fucking do anything. And even shutting down yeah. voice meter and opening it again does not seem to do anything. And I don't know what's up with that. So, I am going to restart my computer. Um, um, I'll put it in the chat that we're restarting, and we're going to... And I'll, I'll, I'll say something in the chat right now. Oh, you did it. Great. 